What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today we're going to be checking out the Elgato Stream Deck product lineup. And these are more than just fancy macro pads. They're essentially programmable keyboards with these LCD buttons that come with very easy to use software that completely changes up your streaming experience and simplifies it. You no longer have to switch applications manually, type on your keyboard, or even use your mouse. It could all be done at the touch of a button. So when it comes to the Stream Deck, you have four options available to you. The Stream Deck Mobile Application, the Stream Deck Mini, the regular Stream Deck, and the Stream Deck XL. First, for the Stream Deck Mobile app, this is for users who are maybe thinking about buying a regular Stream Deck, but they don't want to commit yet. Here, you can just try it out first. You get a free three-day trial when you sign up, and after that, it's just $3 a month. And with the Stream Deck Mobile Application, you're now having virtual Stream Deck buttons right on your mobile device. Next up is the Stream Deck Mini. This is for streamers who are just starting out, and you don't really need more than those six buttons. While everything is still at an arm's reach, the six keys here is going to save a lot of space on your desktop. You can still create folders to maximize your productivity, but with something like these six keys, it's just best to use this for mainly your main functions or macros while gaming or streaming. Then we have the original Stream Deck. This is for regular streamers that found some success and you might even produce daily content. It's perfect for avid streamers or gamers who really want to take control of their streams. Great for all use cases, which lets you get the most out of those 15 keys right in front of you. And then lastly is the Stream Deck XL. This is for high level streamers or content creators. This can even be used by professional video editors, graphic designers, and more. With these 32 keys here for all use cases, you're going to have much more options right at your fingertips. And it's a pretty apparent now how much more flexibility you're going to have. And this is what I use over at my personal gaming setup for not only gaming and streaming, but photo editing and video editing for content on my channel. Then real quick, I'll show you some cool features you can do with the Stream Deck devices inside of the software. First up is customizing your LCD screens. In the software, everything is drag and drop on the right side, giving you access to functions from the Elgato Game Capture, things like Mixer, OBS Studio, Streamlabs, System Applications, Twitch, Twitter, XSplit, YouTube, the list goes on and on. If you want to add more things to your Stream Deck, right underneath you will see more actions. That'll give you access to the Stream Deck plugin store, which lets you download more plugins to use. Some examples of things are Spotify, Philips Hue integration to control your lights, Voice Mod, and many, many other integrations that you can now use. You just drag that function to your key and you're ready to customize. So for example, say I want to alert my audience that I'm going live on Twitch. All I do is drag the tweet action to a key, link my actual Twitter account, and at the press of a button, I can send out a personalized tweet. How about adjusting audio on the fly? Say you don't have those dedicated keys on your keyboard already? Using the multimedia action under the system setting will not only let you adjust your volume, but skip tracks, rewind, play, pause, and mute. How about integrations with other Elgato products like their key light? For streaming, if you have one of these set up, you will see their control center menu, letting you turn the lights on and off, set the brightness, the color temperature, all can be set and personalized at the touch of a button so you're not fiddling around with that during your stream. Speaking of while you're streaming, how about switching scenes? With the integrations to things like Streamlabs OBS, you have that option to not only record and switch your sources, but switching your scene is literally, again, as simple as dragging and dropping in the press of a button. So if you have to take a quick bathroom break, you don't have to mess around with your mouse and keyboard, go onto another monitor, and worry about all that stuff. At the press of a button, you can say BRB. One thing I'm a big fan of is their smart profiles you could set up, which lets you switch your Stream Deck profiles to whatever application you have open. So for example, if you're gaming, the macros you set will now appear on the Stream Deck. Say you're doing other work like photo editing or video editing, those shortcuts and macros that you make will now appear the second you have the application open. Smart profiles is a great thing to utilize. And before we wrap this up, I'll show you some of the customization with the actual icons. Say you don't have Photoshop to create your own, they have their very own key creator website. This gives you hundreds of pre-made icons that you could use and then customize the color, add text, and so on. This is great to give your Stream Deck that visual personality. And by the way, the Stream Deck also allows for GIF use. You get some really cool smooth animations going on. So say if you want to launch a GIF as an overlay while you're streaming, you could actually see it playing on the Stream Deck itself, or we can just use the GIFs to add some cool effects to the icons. Then lastly, creating subfolders. This is what gives you that unlimited potential. And for this, you have two options. On the right side, under the Stream Deck dropdown, you could just drag and drop the Create Folder, very simple. Or right click on a current icon you already have in your layout and select Move to Folder, giving you a clean blank page to create more and more functions. So I hope this video helped you out in deciding which Stream Deck is gonna be best for you and your use cases. 
Again, we have the Stream Deck mobile application, the Stream Deck Mini, the original Stream Deck, and the Stream Deck XL. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.